So the first thing you got to do is obviously clean your sinks. So that's what we're doing here. We are just tying a string around the ankle, tying them up, decapitating them, and then spraying them off to clean them. And then you can see here, we are also hanging the rabbits the same way. So from what I've heard and seen, you cut up the meat and then you'll pull back the, the skin and get that like little layer in the tin kind of like they do for surgeons. So yeah. So we decided to de-skin the birds her. instead of plucking them, so that's what we're talking about doing. You should do it on the side there. You ready to help too, Emma? My fingers are two foot. Even my hands are two foot. Mm. My hands are two foot. Mm. You have to try this. Hi. Smile. Hi. 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 Cheese. Say hi. Don't put your mouth on it. Okay. First up done. So we are de skinning one rabbit now. And I gotta gut it. Turn on these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You got a bucket for so here we're taking the legs off, cleaning out the internal stuff, and separating it from the breast meat. Now we're moving on to our second chicken. Obviously this went a lot faster as we knew a little bit more of what we were doing. We're just going to take it inside and give it a quick clean and go ahead and store it. Moving on to the rabbits, we did not have a good camera view, but he was teaching me how to do the rabbit, so I was more worried about paying attention to that than the camera. Showing me to cut up the feet and then pull back the skin as much as you can, cut around the tail, and continue to pull back till you get it pretty much off the rest of the body. Next, we're just taking off the legs and then we're going to cut them open and clean out the insides. Then we're going to take off the tail and spray it out, clean it up, and then we are going to take the legs that we cut off and we're going to snap it at the joint, get the rabbit foot off, and keep the legs to get the meat off of it. So here we're just putting the rest of the machine together. Um, this is just an old school machine, super um, basic. Put the pieces on and it's ready to go. All right, so you hit start. <laughs> yeah, it's been recording. All right, so hey, you got the frozen meat that we did from the rabbits. And then what you do is turn the machine on and run the meat down the grinder. It's too loud to be um, talking over it, so that's why we're doing the voice record. 
We're running a little bit of meat and bacon, um, the bacon to give it fat because rabbit is very lean. Say hi. Good sleepy. Say hi. Do you see what they're doing? Can you say hi to the camera? Cheese. Whoop. You sleepy? Some sage and rosemary. Okay. What do we need that for? We need it for our rabbit. Our rabbit that we just ground up. Yes. I'm ready. You're ready for what? What are you recording? Hmm? What are you recording? I'm recording you cutting the plants. What kind of plants are these? They're herbs. Herbs. What do we use them for? We use them for cooking. Okay, so Emma, yeah. with your sage, you just want to go and you want to pop the leaves off. You don't cut it. You just pop the you leaves off. The camera actually at the stuff she's doing. You just pop the leaves off, guys. You find the big one. You just go up to the stalk. You snap it off. Okay. You want to try? All of the big he ones. He went inside. The big ones. All of them. Right? He went inside mm, the house. We don't need to get house. all of them. Very end of the stock and pop. Yep. This one back? That one back That's fine. Back. Where at? Lavender? This? Yeah. Back here? Pop. Yeah, that's lavender. Um, the citronella plant is covering it. So we're going to have to probably that one move that and trans you, you can pop it off. This one too. This one? Yeah, and you can go feed that to one of the rabbits. Okay. Might not want it today. There we go. You can put it through the metal bar. Hopper. Hopper. Had to show them playing. He's chasing her with a walking stick. Okay, so we're going to use these herbs. We've got rosemary, thyme, and sage. And I'm going to clean them, and then we're going to get to chopping. Okay, all clean. Now time to chop and combine with our meat. Okay, so we stuck our meat in the freezer to get it a little more firm. That way when we go to grind it up again, it doesn't just turn to mush. These are the herbs that we have chopped up. We're just gonna add it in with our meat. Then we're just gonna mix it up really fast. Now we're just gonna switch some ice around the bowl, make sure the bowl is nice and cold so that the meat does not get too warm. Now we're just pushing all the meat down through the machine. So we're gonna make some burgers. For dinner? With our rabbit meat. Well, yes, but are we having hamburgers for dinner? No. I don't, I don't know how big to make these. So we're gonna start with balls. See how much meat we got. We're gonna get a four on a sheet tray and then we're gonna freeze them and then we will vacuum seal them. How about, what do you say, about two pounds of meat? Sorry, we don't have our scales. A factor three. Three pounds? I wish we did have a plate. Okay, so. We're doing about the size of my hand here. You get five. Not too bad from two rabbits, two small rabbits. So 
Next, we're just going to flatten them out, make sure they're all uniform, cut them in individual pieces, and set them back in the freezer. Okay, so we're went ahead and froze or put these in the freezer to kind of harden them up some to make storing them easier. So we're going to just take probably that's probably good enough. And cut that. And we're going to individually package these for kind of put it down in there. Open that up, make sure that the tip of that is down in our tray, and seal it. Make our bag just a little bit smaller. So we're just going to do that process with every one until we get it done and then we're going to put them back in the freezer until we're ready to eat them. And voila, perfect rabbit burgers.